Hey YouTube, Corpersan here. After the Destiny update, the gun-wielding Explorer Pirate Class Corsair got improved into a fine DPM bosser and solid mobber, getting a lot of quality of life and some additional damage. Yet it still sits at the bottom of the table for all classes that reach level 250+. plus. So why is no one interested in playing this class to a higher level? That's what we intend to find out today in Why No One Plays Corsair. Corsair is the 12th least populated class at level 250+, plus, just below the Cannon Master, making it the least popular Explorer class at this level. To understand better why this class is so unpopular, I spent a bit of time with it over the past few days, leveling it up and doing some early game bosses with it. And to my surprise, it actually has quite a lot of potential as a good mobber, with solid big AoE mobbing skills that can be used quite often. Once you hit the 5th job advancement, this class really starts to shine. The Sarah, though, is a summoning class and has three different summons that it uses when mobbing. There's your crewmates that walk around you, there's a siege bomber summon and two broadside summons. Whenever you're mobbing, you need to use your entire kit spread out across the map for optimal clearing. And I think this is also where the first issue lies for the Corsair. Maplers spend a lot of time grinding, and nowadays the easier the class is to mob with, the generally the more popular the class is as well. It's no wonder that classes like the Dawn Warrior and the Buccaneer have gained so much popularity over the last year, when they can easily grind without the need of a lot of skills and a lot of boost notes. Some warriors, for example, just jump around the map and stuff kinda just dies all around them. Pretty easy, same with Buccaneer. Corsairs, though, have to think about where to place their summons, keep the duration in mind, and use their short cooldown 5th job skills while also using their main mobbing attack, 8 Lacked Easton. It's a different playstyle that just isn't that satisfying to get into. This Corsair that you're watching right now did not get any funding besides about 100 note stones, and it's currently hovering around 3 3.5k stats, and is running on an unoptimized Legion grid. And the summons at this point just don't feel that impactful yet when you're mobbing, especially in Reboot Server, and especially Siege Bomber feels kinda useless early on as it only does one line of damage. So therefore, buffing up your summons with your notes is a must. But this is also where there's uh, another challenge for the Corsair. There are a lot of skills to buff up, which is quite tricky, especially in servers like Reboot, where notes cannot be bought from other players, so it's usually less common to pick a class that you, for example, want to make as a bossing mule that requires a lot of notes. Especially with other classes around like, again, Dawn Warrior or the Marksman, that, for example, need just one trial to function pretty well. The Corsair, though, needs to boost all three of their summons. The Brain Scrambler skill, Rapid Fire, Eight-Lacked Easton, Majestic Presence, and then you also want to sort of boost Nautilus Strike and Ugly Bomb. There's just so many skills that are useful to boost, making it quite difficult to get the full benefit of all your notes until you get to a way higher level where you can actually equip all of those. On the bright side though, it is quite easy to find the note you're looking for because you practically need almost every skill, but it definitely takes a while before this class really starts to take off. You just need so many notes to actually buff up your summons. The main bombing attack is not too bad, but you still want to boost it early on if you want to one-shot with it, especially when you're low on funding. With that being said though, mobbing with this class is actually pretty fun. Even early on when you're not that well funded, skills like Bullet Barrage, where you jump around the map and just bullets fire off continuously, make grinding quite easy. That trigger is pretty good as well, it bounces around enemies, and there is target lock, which is an interesting skill. It locks onto a target and does more damage once it's fully locked, but the lock on time is quite short, so it can be hard to time the skill properly, but when you're mobbing that shouldn't be an issue, the skill kind of always one shots anyway. I do think though that with the additional summon placing and those not feeling that amazing early on, especially because in reboot servers monsters are a little tankier, that's the thing that causes players to lose interest early on, because this class just feels kinda weak, the summons don't really do that much yet, unless you really buff them up with your notes. Why play a class that needs a lot of notes and skills when you can just just one shot the map on your eyes lighting mage. There's just so many alternatives for the Corsair, even with summons, to just have an easier time clearing maps on lower funding, needing less node stones. When it comes to bossing, there also is a lot going on. I think the bulk of Maple Story players enjoy an easy and powerful bosser, and while the Corsair certainly does not lack in any damage whatsoever, it at least to me feels a bit chaotic at times. It reminds me a bit of bossing on a fire poison mage, where you have a ton of skills that you have to use all the time. They have short cooldowns to keep in mind, and you need to keep your position in mind as well. And Corsair is is just like that. Thank goodness though, the cooldown on your broadside and siege bomber skills got removed. Because if you're fighting a boss like Magnus or Damien who dashes around a lot, you might have to reposition your summons every now and then, which can be a bit annoying. Your broadside summons do have a special bossing mode that can be activated by either using the firing orders manually or automatically by using the paratargeting skill that marks an enemy. Which adds another thing to the list that you gotta do. So you first mark your enemy to deal more damage to it. It's 20% more final damage, which is a lot though. And then you use your main bossing attack, Brain Scrambler. This skill is super powerful, but it does have a 5 second cooldown. It's a bit like the old snipe skill from uh, Marksman. And that cooldown can be a bit annoying, because you have to keep an eye on that as well to deal the most optimal damage. When Brain Scrambler is on cooldown, you either use Rapid Fire or Bullet Barrage, and then when it comes off cooldown again, you for example cancel Bullet Barrage and use Brain Scrambler again. 
And while all of that is going on, don't forget to use your other three fifth job attacks. Hyper buffs, reposition your summons if necessary and reapply firing orders or paratargeting. It's a lot of work and it can be easy to get lost in all the chaos that's bossing with this class. I think having a chance to skip cooldowns on your inner abilities would be pretty epic for Brain Scrambler by the way. Besides all those tools, both Nautilus Assault and Target Lock are invincibility frames and your crewmates can take up statuses, so there is at least some safety for this class as well paired with some amazing mobility. In general though, summoning classes in Maple Story have it quite rough. I think summons in general are pretty tough to balance, since they can't be too strong early on, else you won't really grind, you just use summons all the time. So most classes with a lot of summons that don't fully rely on them will have those summons feel pretty weak early on, with Lara being the exception there because literally summoning is all she does. Battle Mage, Mechanic, Corsair and other classes that rely on summons always seem to find their way to the bottom of the popularity charts. Lara was not released that long ago though, so it's quite understandable that she isn't that high up there yet though. But the point being that the summoning lifestyle just doesn't seem to be a thing that a lot of people enjoy. It also didn't help that the Corsair was a high effort class before the Destiny update, so before last year's summer. And while this class is a lot easier and less effort to play right now, it might still carry a bit of that stigma around. After playing around with this class for a few hours though, I can say I personally really enjoyed grinding on it. I just wish that my summons did a bit more damage early on, and that I could use Ugly Bomb in the air. Not sure why I have to be on the ground to use that. And if I can nitpick, I wish the duration of the lock from Target Lock would last like 2 seconds longer, it would be a bit easier to aim. This class though has access to the 5th job skill Loaded Dice, where you just get free 30% bonus EXP just because you're a pirate, which is pretty dope. And all the mobility that you get with your wings and backshot makes bossing pretty enjoyable and fun if you don't lose yourself in the chaos of using all those skills. Maybe I'm just getting old. Is that it guys? Am I just getting old? Is it too much for me to handle? Overall though this class is super powerful, with powerful skills like Brain Scrambler. And with changes to Quick Draw being passive now and your summons no longer having cooldowns, things are definitely a lot easier when you're facing those bosses. There are some upcoming changes for this class though in the, about 6 months from now. Brain Scrambler for example is getting a minor nerf with the Savior update, with the damage reducing from 980% to 880%. Bullet Barrage got an increase in damage and hits, but lost shorter now, which is pretty dope for bossing and not that amazing for grinding. But at least there's that now. Wrapping things up though, I think the Corsair is a unique class that is pretty powerful when it comes to bossing, but it's still a high effort class compared to a lot of other classes, needing more nodes and more thought into grinding with your summon placements and rotations before they really start to shine. Because of that, it sits close to the bottom of the most popular classes in Maple Story. What do you think yourself of the Corsair class? Now, especially now after you've seen this video, and would you like to see more videos like this? Let me know in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, many thanks to our members for making these videos possible. Special thanks to Niels de Konik, Rama Waar, Sebastian Hanoi, Riley Oz, Terry Kim, Varese, Kaudi Mora, Wai Lee, History Cannon, Backspace OTI, Safronix, Ziggy Deer, Flidiot, Naifsu, Cloudfix, Gusus Rodriguez, Digby, Vyra, Trevor, Michael Menchaka, Ratius, Justin Vale, Silvio Nato, Afterlord underscore MS, Striker Elk, Tidal One Pun, Radical Jaws, Riser RU, Sir Tito, 655, Matthias Simerson, PC Game Life, The Passenger, Martin Panzik, Conrad Cristalis, Ace Light, Mr. Anark, Ben Wolf, Max Bernhardt, Muka1017, BMB King, Scotty Flies Fast, Priskilla, Brennan Cam, Vake Botnet, Fek. Victor Sundström, Simak Only, Rashid Alarudi, Gerlando Balavia, Gianfranco Calderon Canavero, Lucky Beats, Matinho Dev, Gummy Bullet, Lord Fazil, Spots D. Kaiser, Zunnen, That Archie Guy, Grogro, Grable Egg, and Louis Bento Brandao. Thank you so much for watching, stay safe, and as always, happy mapling.